It's better if I just give you an example, like in my single family businesses. It doesn't matter if it's creative financing or cash deals or anything like that. The way I package my deals is I show you how you're going to make the money. I show you what it's going to cost you. Now, you might do it differently than the way I'm presenting it to you, but I'm giving you an idea of exactly what that's going to look like. I have what I call an entry fee in our creative financing deals where it says, okay, here's the value of the house. If you do this, here's how much money you're going to make. It's going to cost this much to get the people to move out. It's going to cost this much for a reinstatement. Closing costs are going to be approximately this. It's going to cost this much to renovate it. I want to make this much money. I mean, I line it all the way down. So here's $30,000 is what your entry fee is, Mr. and Mrs. Investor. Now, here's how you make your money back. If you lease option this place out or do a wraparound mortgage or whatever, you can get a $20,000 down payment. You can get, you know, I don't know, $3,000 a month and, you know, 1200 of it's going to go right into your pocket if you get this much money and blah, blah, blah. That gives you annual, you know, for year one, your cash on cash return looks like this. And then every year after, it looks like this. When I present it that way to people, they absolutely fall in love with the way I do my business because for that particular business, that is as granular as it gets. Mm -hmm. But when you're in the multifamily space, I mean, $5 can make or break a deal in terms of the rent amount. Yeah, definitely. And I think part of why I'm such a big fan of underwriting is also because there are so many moving pieces in multifamily. And I, I say this as someone that started off in single family homes, I bought them completely on my own. And it was a little easier to kind of, you know, throw your money into a deal and kind of figure it out as you go. But the larger you go in terms of multifamily, if you've got business partners, if you've got passive investors, if you've got different tranches of debt that you're paying back, it gets much more complex. And my philosophy in investing is that if I am putting 50, 100, 200 grand of my own money and I'm putting my reputation on the line and I'm asking my friends and my grandma and my uncle to invest with me into deals, I better understand what business I'm getting myself into. And so mm -hmm. part of the philosophy that I promote to everyone is that you should at least understand the bare minimum basics of how to underwrite a deal. Otherwise, you're entrusting someone else to kind of do all that math for you. And mm -hmm. I've seen so many times where even if it's not malicious, I mean, again, most people in real estate feel like friendly enough or genuinely want to succeed and have partners succeed along with them. But even if you don't mean to, you can't read someone else's mind. And so if you and I were talking about a deal together, we don't have the same risk tolerances. We don't have the same needs. We don't have the same financial situations. And if I think a deal is works for me, but you don't realize that it's actually too risky for you, there's a lot of miscommunication that goes on or that could happen and a lot of bridges that could be burned. Mm -hmm. And, you know, multifamily real estate is a multi-year commitment. You're not holding it for six months and kind of making that partnership go away. It's a marriage for five to 10 years. Yeah. And you're dealing with debt that's millions of dollars. So my suggestion for anyone that wants to get into multifamily is to at least understand what you're dealing with understand the business of multifamily by understanding the numbers and a lot of people also reach out because you know they're, they're not number savvy i get it i lived in code and spreadsheets my entire career so i'm very comfortable with it but you should still at least get past that level of discomfort unless you have a best friend that you trust with your entire life who's really good with numbers and they can be your underwriter, it's really difficult to find someone that has the exact same risk tolerance as you, who you can trust. I'm giving you everything you need to find success as a real estate investor. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video. See you later.